Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we even get started, want to first and foremost give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rokakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutations to all the occupants of the whole four elect that pushing forth this word and its truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Now, I was just watching, uh, probably got to, I don't know, hold on. I, I figured it was going to do that. <laughs> I figured it was going to do that. But nonetheless, I was watching a video from um, Elder uh, Apostle Gabar page. And, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to uh, pull it up uh, in a second. Excuse me. Uh, I'm about to pull up in a second. I ain't know why. I just had it. I just had it queued up and everything. <laughs> I just had it queued up, man. That's the devil, though. But nonetheless, we're gonna we gonna get the video back. All right, and um, it's a and the video here. To, here, go right here. A few words to the Great Millstone Brotherhood, which uh, Elder Apostle uh, Gabar he uploaded as you can see fourteen hours ago, and as you can see, <laughs> the hit seven seven seven, man. <laughs> Completion, baby. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, now this video right here, I'm about to uh I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying? queuing up playing now. I'm about to take it back. You know what I'm saying? Take it back to the beginning. As we can see it's eleven minutes and fifty-four seconds. Um I ain't even watched no more than two minutes of this video, man. Uh by me watching um by going into the video and two minutes in going into the video. You know, the spirit just hit me, you know, Rakakadash just hit me to where a couple of scriptures came out in my mind to where I was like, man, you, I got to go ahead and do me a quick lesson. So, you know, like I said, I, don't, I only watched two minutes, uh, you know, what I'm saying, of this video as of right now. Um, so, you know, what I'm saying so it's real time I'm do this video here. And after I do my video, then I'm going to go ahead and finish up the video of Elder Pascal Bar finish watching this video. All right. But nonetheless, uh, we, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play a, a, a minute and some change of the video. And, 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 and you know, it's heavy, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, because uh, Elder Pascal Bar, he's doing commentary from a, another's brother uh, from Great Millstone. Uh, listen to the video that he did. He uploaded earlier, which Elder Pascal Bar mentioned. I forgot the brother's name, but Elder Pascal Bar mentioned the brother's name. Um, you know what I'm saying? When I played, you know, when I played the uh, first minute and some change of this video here, where pretty much like the brother uh, quoted, and he was saying that if something that you don't know, learn it. All right. Before you go out and pretty much roughly paraphrasing before you go out there and do a video on something before you go out there and put something out there, you know, to the world. You know, what I'm saying pushing the word, pushing the truth. You how about your mouth shot throughout the four corners and something that you are not completely sure on before you go into any type of topic or bring any type of listen. And you ain't thoroughly, you know what I'm saying? You ain't thoroughly study that topic or, or know what you were talking about going into that topic. Then don't even go into that topic, man. You know what I'm saying? Making a fool out yourself and getting confounded. You know what I'm saying? Something that you don't know. You go out there and you learn it at the end of the day because the work is the work. The work has been done and is currently still being done. It's, it's no listens that from the elders apostles to the elder bishops to the elder brothers, upcoming elders and brothers of light, true believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, brothers them went into listens pertaining to all the topics going into the scriptures. It's up to you to go out there and do the research. And even myself, sometimes, you know, certain topics you, you know, you probably didn't touch, you probably didn't go into in a long time. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You might need to go ahead and have like a refreshing course, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, re, you know, re, you know, re, re, refresh on that topic, go back, and study your notes, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, and sometimes when you go back and you study, man, you'd be surprised, man, at more information you done had going into that topic before when you was going into that topic, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's pretty much roughly paraphrasing, you know what I'm saying, what Elder Pascal Bar really going into, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, speaking on, um, giving commentary to this brother's video here. And I'm going to let the video play and then, you know, like a minute and some change. And then, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go into the scriptures, man. Uh, yeah, this will be a quick video. Got a couple of thoughts on my mind, and uh, I was meditating on them while I was listening to the brother McQuarrie. Uh, this video here, and he's getting down, man. Video called "If You Don't Know Something, Learn It, Don't Make It Up," and he's uh, 
referring to this doctrine. Um, like he said, if you don't know something, and this is particular to you, particularly to you younger men in this ministry from whatever GMS camp you may be in, if you don't know something, you don't just make it up. And for goodness sakes, you don't do a video and put it up. And the information that was in the video was not factual, was not accurate. Uh, if you think about this thing of ours as a business, which indeed it is a business, um, it is the father's business, and this is pursuant to uh, the book of Luke, the second chapter, the 49th verse. This is what Yahweh Shai, at, at the age of 12, mind you, at the age of 12, Yahweh Shai told his mother, this is what he told his mother, all right, after his father and mother were looking for him for, what, three days, and they finally found him on the fourth day, teaching in the temple. This is the book of Luke 2, I'll start at 48 to, to build it up. And when they saw him, him being Harishai, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought in sorrow. Yeah, because they didn't know what happened to their son. This is their firstborn son. Which, which is Yahweh Shai, that was their firstborn son. And they didn't know what happened to him. They thought he might have been uh, captured and sold into slavery or a, a wild beast might have gotten him or any bad thing might have befell him. They didn't know, so it caused them to sorrow. So just like the mother said, you know, women are emotional. So the mother said to her son, Yahweh Shai, why have you dealt with us like this? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. Now, what was Yahweh Shai's response? Now, keep in mind, this is at the age of 12, he gave this response. He said, and he said unto them, how is it that you sought me? <laughs> Wist ye not, or don't you know, that I must be about my father's business? So and and, and, and we're going to stop there, man. You know, and of course, you know what I'm saying, this offer... Elder Pastor Gabar uh, YouTube page, Daily Edification 4, man. All right. So if you're not subscribed, you know what I'm saying? Hey, please subscribe, man. If you want to get edified, you want to get built up through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, definitely, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe to uh, Elder Pastor Gabar page, man. Daily Edification 4. But let's go ahead and let's pull a few scriptures here, man. All right. And. Let's get Second Timothy, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Because, it, you know, just showing you the importance, man, of, you know, you got to know the song correctly. When I when I, when I say the song, I'm talking about this truth, man. You got to eat of the whole robe. And the whole robe represents this knowledge and this truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah requires accountability, man. Going back to Matthew, matter of fact, matter of fact, let's start. Let's start there. Let's start there. Matthew 12. Let's read 36. All right. In verse 37, man. All right. Matthew 12 and 36 is red letter. Yahweh was shot. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So, you know, when you out there and you prophesying and you saying you a man of the Lord, you come in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Guess what? The Most High is going to hold you accountable to that, man. All right. You know, you there, there's accountability. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah require if you a prophet of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, you got to you got to have the whole song correctly. You got to have the 100 percent truth. All right. There's no lie of the truth. So you got to be able to go into the scriptures and be able to break the scriptures down correctly. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're talking about you prophesying the spirit of your house. I got to be dealing with you, man, to be a man of the Lord, to be of the elect. You know, you can't self will yourself of the elect. It got to be the will of your house. Bashim your house shot, man. All right. Period, man. Um, but you got a lot of self-willed guys out here, okay? But like, like yeah, how about your mouth? Shall I said, man, the deceive and the deceiver belong to the Most High. Ultimately, at the end of the day, but nonetheless, uh, let's finish up verse thirty-seven. It says, um, "For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned." See, there you go. You know what I'm saying? You know, going into you know representing this word and this truth, and talking about and speaking of this truth. 
hey, you know what I'm saying? The elect is going to be justified. Why? Because we came in the name of Yahweh Bashem Hawasha and we spoke the words of Yahweh Bashem Hawasha. We did not lean on our own understanding. All right, you know, and when we gave warning to Israel, we gave warning according to the scriptures, to the words of Yahweh Bashem Hawasha, man. We didn't make nothing up, man. We didn't hold anything back. All right, you know, you got a lot of guys out there, like prime example, one of the end time prophecies we're supposed to be giving warning and prophesying to Israel on is to not take the Karagma, man. All right, don't take that mark, man, from Esau, go, pursuing back to Revelation 13 and 16. You can't buy and sell. These one of the major prophecies, end time prophecies that have to take place before the end come, before the missiles come, before before World War Three. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, 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 you know the missiles are, are shot out, those silos or whatnot. Before all that happened, for those missiles touched down in Babylon, hey, the chip got to be a minister first, man. The chip got to be a minister, man. You still have to mandate the chip, man. All right? You know, he have to, he, and he's going to come, and, 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 he, and he's coming to look into devour the elect of the nation of Israel because he know the elect of the nation of Israel, the, the, the prophets, the one-third, you know, starting with the, you know what I'm saying, 144,000, of course, he already know they're going to reject that mark, man. We're not going to take that mark. You know, I'd rather like I'm praying that number, but we're not going to take that fucking mark, bro. Tell Esau to hell, hell with that. And Esau knows that as well, too. But the point of the matter is, those that that's one of the major end time prophecy you're supposed to be pushing and giving warning to Israel. And you have a lot of niggas out there, man, the rebels out there that speak against the truth, man. You got a lot of camps like ISUPK, even put names on it, IUIC. You got these new stupid niggas, Wi Fi, them clowns. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and, and a host of others, man. But, but, yeah, how about you, man? What should I say, man? Verse 37, because see, hey, I'm gonna let scripture speak. I ain't gotta say nothing. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned, man. All right, so if you ain't got the song right, you how about you, man? What should I say? You're gonna be condemned. You're gonna be destroyed, man. That's the importance, man, of having uh, having and knowing the song and, and speaking the song correctly, man. Because like I said, you're not, you know, somebody, you clowns going off. You think you uh, going up against Great Millstone. Nigga, you ain't going up against Great Millstone. You're going up against your how about shimmy how was shot. So you dummies, that's what you dummies don't understand. You ain't going against man. You're going against your how about shimmy how was shot. We don't come in our own name. We ain't speaking our own words. We're speaking the words of your how about shimmy how was shot, man. And that and that's the difference between Great Millstone, starting the elders apostles to the elder bitches on down to us and the rest of you clowns out there, man. All right. You, like I say, you self-willed niggas out there, man. OK, and the importance of, you know, what I'm saying, like I said, the importance of, of knowing the song correctly. Hey, man, you got you, you got to study, man. And that's what a lot of these clowns don't do. They don't fucking study nothing, man. At the end of the day, they just learn something, freestyle it, take something off face value. Don't go into the definition and meaning of different words and different languages. You got to go back into the Greek, got to go back into the Hebrew. But you got a lot of guys that have a problem with that because, like I say, they they, they basic at the end of the day, man. All right. They basic. They're not they, 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 they are not trying to grow in this truth, man. All right. You know, uh, Second Timothy 2 and 15. Like, like, like I said, you had certain guys. They were speaking out against the blue letter other camps speaking out against the blue letter. You know what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden now when they want to make their point, they use a the blue letter. But then you were speaking out against it. Hey, now you're using the blue letter, the same the, the same blue letter you were speaking out against Great Millstone. You know what I'm saying? You know. But nonetheless, man, it's Second Timothy two and fifteen, it's, and it's read: Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. See, that's the point of studying. So you do, so you rightly dividing the word of truth, man. All right, and we know you clowns, man. That, 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 that don't fit you guys, man, all right? Because <laughs> you guys, like I said, man, you, you want to continue on the freestyle, man, all right? Or you want to, you know, certain certain topics, when they go into the, when they go into rape or going to, you know what I'm saying, we go into the topic, getting on the uh, the, the, the women of, of the tribes that's going off, you guys get offended, man. You guys are emotional at the end of the day. You don't like to deal with the 100% truth of your how about shimmy how was shot because you niggas get offended, man. Because you niggas like freaking women, man, at the end of the goddamn day. That's, that's part of the problem. All right. But nonetheless, man, we're going to keep going in this listen right here. We're going to get uh, First John here. First John. Let's get the First John. All right. Two. And we're going to read verse 20 and 21 here. This right here, First John 2 and 20. It says, but ye have an option from the Holy One, and ye know all things. See, there you go. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of Yahweh, Shah, 
is on you, dealing with you, all right? You got Rakal Kadash on you, the Holy Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, Rakal Kadash, which is the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're you going to go into the scriptures, you're going to break the scriptures down correctly, man. You're going to sing the song correctly at the end of the day, man, all right? Ain't going to be no mishaps. Ain't going to be no, uh, I got to do a do-over. I got to do a video apologizing because I, uh, I, broke, I, broke, I broke that one down wrong. I broke this script. No, if the Spirit dealing with you, man, you're going to break the song down correctly, man. All right, a lot of guys, they don't have the song correctly. Like I said, one of the major prophecies is that all, all Israel is supposed to be put. If you're a man of the Lord, if you're a man of Yahweh Shem Shah, guess what? You know, we're going to be pushing various topics, you know, various prophecies that's going on. But like I say, the major prophecies that we're supposed to be pushing, going in on the goddamn sea hip, man, the chip, man. All right. That we're supposed to be prophesying and giving major warning to Israel not to take, man. OK. All right. Trusting Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Knowing that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to make a way for the elect. Going back to Isaiah 65. My servant shall eat. My servant shall drink. Like I said, you ain't going to be able to buy or sell. You're supposed to be giving warning to Israel and going to the scriptures and building Israel up and to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Building their foundation and building their faith up, man. All right. So when, when that Jacob trouble, when it hit, Jake, you know what I'm saying? Going back to Isaiah 33 and 6. Let me get that real quick. I ain't going to even quote it. Let me just go ahead and bring it out real quick. Isaiah 33 and 6. So Jake can, so, so, so your congregation be prepared, man. So they won't be running behind and taking that C hip, man. Okay. All right. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Yeah, it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of, of thy times. What times is it is speaking of? It's going into what? Jacob's trouble, the time that we're coming in. When Yahweh Shem is going to try the world. All right. Starting with Israel. All right. And it says, and start back up top, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. So that's going to be the stability, man. That, that You know what I'm saying? The wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, uh, knowing prophecy, knowing these events have to take place, man. Knowing going to be great death, great mourning, great plagues, man. All right? Knowing that uh, Yahweh Shema Washah is only going to deliver a remnant of Israel, majority of Israel, 6.6% 6 of Israel, the Most High is bringing judgment to, which is going to be death at the end of the day, man. That's what's coming to America. That's what's coming to Babylon, man. Destruction at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right? You know? And, and anyone that's uh, hand in hand and trusting and believing in Babylon, you know what I'm saying? Believing in this system, guess what? You're going to be destroyed along with it at the end of the day. All right. That's part of the gospel that we are spreading and whatnot as well, too. All right. But uh, finishing up, it says, um, I start back up top, might as well. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, is his treasure. And that's going into the elect, man. All right. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. Knowing not to take the, the goddamn sea hip because our trust and our faith going to be in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, not in no man. And damn sure, not in the basis of all men, Esau, man. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell Esau to elf himself, man. When he come up there and tell us, hey, man, you better take the sea hip. You better take if you know what's good, man. Man, Esau, you go ahead and jump off a bridge, man. The fuck you can do, man. <laughs> All right. But anyway, this right here, First John 2 and 20. It says, but ye have an option. From the Holy One, and ye know all things. Yeah, so the elect, man, they're going to break the song down correctly, man. All right? Okay, they're not going to be double-minded. They're not going to be, you know what I'm saying, one breath. You know what I'm saying? It's June. It ain't no microchip. And then the next breath, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying that the the karagma ain't the sea here. I'm not going to say that, you know, trying to backtrack, man. You know, unstable as niggas. But going back to first, first John 2 and 21, I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it and that no lie is of the truth. So ain't no lie of the truth, man. So you got a lot of guys out here. They, you know what I'm saying? They are not breaking the scriptures down completely. All right. You know, they may have certain parts of the scriptures of knowing who the 12 tribes are, knowing the name of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, knowing who Esau, knowing the nations, knowing that Esau is going into slavery and captivity. You know what I'm saying? But then when you get to certain scriptures where it goes into Cornelius, you know, some of the, the mysteries are stumbling block in the scriptures. When you go into the Israelite foreigners, that's the number one thing. Jake is not spiritual at the end of the day. They, you know, Jake think all Israel going to come back. You know what I'm saying? Looking alike. All Israel going to look like. You know what I'm saying? We originally looked like, you know what I'm saying, going back when we came out of Egypt, man. You know what I'm saying? When you had Israel was different shades of brown at the end of the day, man. Not all Israel going to be coming back looking like Michael Jordan, man. All right. When I, when I mean by Michael Jordan, because Israel originally we are a dark skinned nation of people. But then with, even within that, you're going to have Israelites that are going to be looking like the other nations, man. So it's not a color thing. And that's one thing that we preach at Great Millstone at the end of the day. It's not a color thing. It's a spiritual thing because... Part of the curses, Israel was scattered throughout the four corners. 
So the Israelite man dealt with not only Israelite women, but the women of the other nations as well, too. The women of the other heathen nations, Israelite man dealt with and put their seed in, man. So when you put your seed in other women of other heathen nations, guess what? You know what I'm saying? The child is going to take, you know what I'm saying? Certain, you know, looks of, uh, of the mother, certain looks of their father, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like prime example, if. You know what I'm saying? Myself, if I go up there and I, and I get me an Edomite woman, all right, get me a Becky or Karen and put one in her, you know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't going to say Becky or Karen. We're going to say a Marilyn Monroe. So I get a Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> that sounds way better. I get a Marilyn Monroe and I, and I put a seed in Marilyn Monroe. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? You know what I'm saying? My The child's going to come out lighter than me. You know, I'm, 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 I'm melanated, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, my child come out lighter than me. going to be a little darker than Marilyn Monroe. But guess what? You know what I'm saying? It's still an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Now, when my seed grew up, and let's say, you know, my seed is a son, a male, and he grew up, my son grew up, and he becomes, becomes a man, and he started dealing with women, and let's say he get him, and he deal with an Edomite woman. Guess what? He already a lighter reflection of me, and he already a light complexion. So, let's say my son deal with an Edomite woman, and he get a seed, he put a seed, and she bring forth a seed. What do you think? That complexion of that child is going to look even more like a damn Edomite. All right. Just, you know, like I said, you got to, you know, we got to go there with Jake, man, because Jake gets simple as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake, like, they don't understand the concept of Jake uh, dealing with other heathen nation women. And when dealing with dealing with other heathen nation women, not all Israel and come back looking like Israel, man. They go, you're going to have Israel's, the Israelites are going to look like the so called small hats, man. Ain't no so called. They are the small hats. The small hats. You're going to have, you know what I'm saying? Israel looking like the, them small hats, some Amaleks, man. Edomites, man. You're going to have Israel looking like Hamites, man. Ham, all right? Have Israelites look like Japhites, man. Israelites, they're going to look like Moab, Ammon, man. All right? The other heathen nations at the end of the day. And see, that's a lot of, and see, that's a mystery. That's a stumbling block for a lot of camps that they don't know. They don't go into. They don't go into, man, because they don't know it at the end of the damn day. And like I said, they be freestyling at the end of the goddamn day, man. All right? That's why I say they can't say, they can't sing the song correctly. All right? Only the elect is going to have the, you know what I'm saying, going to sing the song correctly, man. Only the elect, and that's going back to uh, Revelation 14, all right? Revelation 14 and 3, and it says, And they sung as it was, shlop, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the fourth beast going into Esau and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand. See, that's, talking, that's going into the body government of Yahweh Shem Shah, going into the elect. All right. So only the elect going to have the truth, this knowledge, and understanding. And as you can see, the elect, that's a very small number compared to all of Israel at the end of the day. All right. So you're going to so that so that tells you you're going to have more false prophets out there than the real men of the Lord. Or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right. You know, so, you know, you have to be like the church of Berea. You know what I'm saying? You know, you have to be like the church of Berea, man, and check things out for yourself, man. Go back and do your own research at the end of the day. Do your own do your own study, not relying in man, but doing your own study, relying on your how about your shot. And most I told you, hey man, go go hey, study to show hey, first scripture, man, second Timothy two and fifteen, man. Study to show ourselves approval, man. All right, and that's one thing Jake don't like to use. They don't like to use uh the, the biggest muscle, the strongest muscle, the brain at the end of the damn day, man. All right. But nonetheless, man, going back to Revelation 14 and three, and it says, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the fourth beast and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth, man. All right. So see, there you go. There you go, man. I might as well read verse four, too. All right. Uh, verse four. These are they which were not defiled with women. And that women represents is going into the other philosophies of the world, man. All right. You know, it says for they are virgins, man. So it's not talking about men that haven't dealt with women at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right. That that what they teach you in these damn churches, man, at the end of the day. But it's not referencing to no virgins, men that. They haven't laid down or haven't been with the woman or whatnot, man. And going to that is going into spiritual, the spiritual woman, which represents the philosophies of the of the other heathen nations or whatnot, man. All right. You know, we haven't been penetrated by the philosophies of spiritually penetrated by the philosophies of the other heathen nations, man. So we are virgins. We only true. And we only hear the voice of Yahweh Bashim was shot. Check it out. Finishing up verse four on four. Uh, it says, these are they which follow the lamb, which is Yahweh Shah, whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed 
from among men going into the elect, man. All right, that remnant, Yahweh Masha kept to himself. Not all Israel going to be destroyed at the end of the day. Most I kept the remnant, the elect, in which two thirds is ultimately going to come back in the kingdom uh, through the elect at the end of the day anyway. So, you know, <laughs> all Israel ultimately going to be saved. But two thirds, the blood of Yahweh is not going to cover them on this side, man. All right, you know. Um, it says these were redeemed from among men, um, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shah, man. All right, showing you, you know, the elect was back with Yahweh Shah going all the way back from the beginning, man. Okay, all right. Um, verse five, and in their mouth was found no guile, yeah, man, no deceit at the end of the day, no lies, man. All right, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Showing you the most high, going back to Matthew 12 and 36 and 37. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to hold every man accountable for his words and for his actions at the end of the day, man. So everything that you're saying and your actions and your deeds are going to be held accountable for, for the day of judgment before Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Nobody's getting away with anything, man. So when the nigga see, see the let getting beamed up and his ass still down here on earth, and about to taste a goddamn missile, then he gonna fucking know why, man. He gonna know he had guile in his ass at the end of the day, man. All right, you know, he had that goddamn, um, that 11th in him, man, that 11th, man. Um, <laughs> matter of fact, let me get that real quick, man. That's Galatians, all right? Galatians uh, 5 and five and um, 9, man, all right? You know what I'm saying? You know, the two-thirds, man, you know what I'm saying? He false prophet, they got 11 in their doctrine, man. It, a little 11, 11 the whole lump. That's why here at Great Millstone, we say we got 100% truth. If you put a little 11 in it, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, you put a little 11, it, it going, you know what I'm saying? It going to mess up the whole doctrine, man. I don't give a damn, man. You know, you got 95 or 96% of the song correctly. If you know 96 and 97% of the truth correctly and the 3%, you don't know that the C hip, you know what I'm saying, um, is the karagma, the mark of the beast, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It is the karagma. If you don't know that, and you ain't giving that warning. And like I say, I'm just using that because that's one of the major end time prophecy that's coming. If you don't know that in your doctrine, and you're not teaching that in your doctrine, and you're teaching everything else. You're on point with the elect. You're on point with the heathen nations going up under subjection and captivity and slave up under the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. You know, you singing, you know, you know the name of Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, you got the 12 tribes uh, correct. You know, you're going into the, 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 the Jacob's trouble. You know what I'm saying? You're going all that. But then when you get to the sea hill, you know what I'm saying? You know you uncertain or you didn't you don't have that part correct. Guess what, man? Your 97 97% of truth that you do have, guess what? Yahweh about your mouth shot ain't gonna even acknowledge that. Because that one percent, you know what I'm saying? Uh no, well, excuse me, that three percent uh of what you don't know, hey man, it's gonna throw your whole doctrine out because Yahweh about your mouth requires perfection at the end of the day. Most high requires perfection, man. You can't you can't F the song up, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, cause F in the song up. You can lead to somebody being destroyed, man. Somebody could be destroyed. Like if you got followers and they're following you and you're not warning them of the sea hip and you telling them to take the sea hip and they take it, guess what? Yahweh Bashamasha gonna require their blood, man. All right. But guess what? Yahweh Bashamasha gonna require their blood off of your hands. Them, them niggas, them zombies that follow you and take the sea hip, they're gonna be destroyed by Yahweh Bashamasha for being zombies, for, for, you know what I'm saying, for going off. All right. But them false prophets out there teaching, that and leading it, leading, leading Jacob straight. Guess what? Most I was gonna destroy your ass, man. Know that, man. All right. Matter of fact, we're gonna get um, we're gonna end on this right here, man. Ezekiel 33. You know what I'm saying? Like the elders say, Ezekiel, Ezekiel. <laughs> like elders will possibly be saying, Ezekiel. <laughs> All right. Um, man, we're gonna read Ezekiel 33 and we're gonna read verse one through six, man. All right. And it's going into the, the, the true prophets, you know what I'm saying? Blowing the trumpet and giving that warning like we're supposed to be on our watch. And they're going to also give you, uh, you how about your Shah deals with duality, man. And most I'm going to, you know, give an example of a false prophet and what's going to happen to him for not giving that warning. All right. You know, and for Jake that, you know, what I'm saying that follow that, that you know, that listen and what's going to happen to him that, that follow these false prophets. Leaders of the blind lead the blind into the ditch at the end of the day. But nonetheless, let's get the scriptures, man. Ezekiel 33. Let's start at verse one. Again, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Abishai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. All right. And in that, and, and the modern day sword, Esau, but that's sea hill, man. All right, you know, hey, we was giving that warning when he was pushing the Beetlejuice, all right? And now we're giving that warning, you know what I'm saying? Because we know that Beetlejuice was just a prelude to the Sea Hip ultimately at the end of the day because Esau is looking to, 
you know, putting that C-hip into to, to the world, man, all right? Other than one percenters, other than his own, you know what I'm saying? He's looking to, 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 to put that C-hip into everybody, man, all right? So, because he want to play God, man, all right? And he want to know your every movements, you know what I'm saying? Your everyday, you know what I'm saying? Your everyday movements, man. Every, every day, all, all your activities, man. Esau, you know what I'm saying, on that on that C hip, he'll be able to pay attention and keep up with all your activity because he want to play the most out this fucking damn devil, man. But nonetheless, Ezekiel 33 and 2. Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, and if when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. That's what we were supposed to do, all right? You know, give warning, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? on everything prophesying man that's the whole point man all right we ain't not there you know what i'm saying prophesying peace peace man everything gonna be all right no fuck nah because ain't gonna be no fucking peace to this wicked ass world ain't no peace to the wicked like scripture say ain't gonna be no peace to the wicked man and who you have ruling the wicked man all right so we're supposed to be giving a warning of the visitation of yahweh bashim al rashad all right because great death is coming man all right and massive of numbers man at the end of the day and ain't nothing sweet um that yahweh bashim al about to be bringing here man all right uh, verse verse three. If when he see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Yeah, like prime example, we telling you, that, you know, from the elders apostles of great millstones to the elder bishops on down to us, man. We giving you warning from your how about your mouth shot not to take the sea hip and your silly ass take the sea hip any damn way. Guess what, man? Most high is gonna destroy you. Pursuing back to Revelation fourteen nine and ten. When you be destroyed, you're not gonna be destroyed because of your ignorance, man. Yeah, you is gonna be destroyed because of your ignorance, man. At the end of the goddamn day or whatnot, man. You know what I'm saying? And then some of you not because you gonna know what the hell you doing. You know that's a sea hip. You know you going against your how about your mouth shot, but through your but but through you but but through your lack of faith through your lack of faith you're gonna take it anyway and you're gonna be destroyed man because you got that warning hey the elect hey man the elect men of israel all right you know what i'm saying hey we're gonna give you the 100 truth and we're gonna give you that we're gonna and we're gonna warn you according to you how about your mouth shot so I, so your blood not gonna be on our hands man we're not gonna be responsible if you if you go outside of the warning we gave you from you how about your mouth shot from the scriptures hey man like i say you don't take warning and you do what the fuck you want to do all right, you know, what you feel like is best for you, like scripture said, he that try to save his life shall lose his life. He that lose his life shall save his life. So our faith totally gotta be in your how about your mouth was shot. You know what I'm saying? If your faith gonna be and you're gonna rely, you gonna you you gonna um, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna believe on Esau, you're gonna believe on Egypt, then you're gonna be destroyed, man. Pursuing back to Isaiah 31 and 1, man. All right, woe to him to go down to Egypt for help, man. Hey, you go down to Egypt for help, bro. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? Your ass gonna be destroyed by your how about your was shot, man. All right, simple as that, man. Okay, matter of fact, let's get that because I ain't got that in a long time. We're going to get back to Ezekiel um, 33, but uh, let's get that. Isaiah. I think I quoted Isaiah 31 and 1, if I ain't mistaken. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And modern day Egypt is America, man. All right, aka Babylon. That's modern day Egypt, man. And Egypt, when you go back uh, the book of Exodus, uh, the 20th chapter, it goes into, you know what I'm saying, the definition, the meaning of the word Egypt, which means a house of bondage, man. All right, so Babylon was the last, you know what I'm saying, place that Israel was going to serve slavery and captivity, man. All right, you know, Esau is going to be the last nation to rule over Israel before Yahweh Bashem Shah raised Israel back up through the power of Yahweh Shah, you know, and starting with Yahweh Shah and starting with the elect, the first fruits. All right, you know what I'm saying, which Israel is going to be an everlasting kingdom, pursuing back to Isaiah 45 and 17, man. All right, but uh, finishing up Isaiah 31 and 1, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. All right, which is America, and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Al Rashad. So, how much more during the time of our temptation, man? All right, of Jacob's trouble, man. You know what I'm saying? You think you think Israel going to believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Rashad? All right, you know what I'm saying? You think they're going to. When Esau put that full court press, you can't buy, you can't sell, you know what I'm saying? Unless you got that, uh, you got the devil's seat here. What do you think the unbelievers, man, two thirds, man, are Jake gonna do, man? Hey, they gonna trust in the fucking Egypt, man. All right, but see, like I said, you know, they can't say they didn't have, they haven't gotten that warning. All right, you know, all right, you know, from the elders apostles, great millstone to elder bishops on down to us, the, the elders apostles been prophesying. Oh, on, on, on a sea hip, man. You know what I'm saying for 30 plus years, man. But we just, but we're talking about currently, um, doing the YouTube era from 2007 on now currently, man. And still we pushing it, bro. Even even more stronger, getting closer to that time, man. 
So, you know, Jake, that, like I said, it started off Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Woe means destruction, man. So, you niggas going to be destroyed for ultimately trusting and, and believing in, in fucking America at the end of the day, man. All right? But we finishing up. Um, you know what I'm saying? We, we finishing up Ezekiel 33. Uh, um, and we were reading 1 through 6. And I think we left off, what, verse 5? All right? Matter of fact, I, I'll start back at verse 4. Uh, Ezekiel 33 and 4. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Yeah, man, because Jake, I mean, you got that fucking warning, bro. So you take the sea help, your ass going to be destroyed, man. Simple as that, man. Verse 5. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. So if you take warning, hey, that means you, um, you of the elect, man. You take warning from the prophets. You know, men of the law of Yahweh Shema Shah, and you trust in Yahweh Shema Shah. guess what? You, you can deliver your soul, man. Actually, Yahweh Shema Shah is going to deliver you, man. All right, you know? But verse 6, but if the watchmen see the sword come, like these false prophets, they ain't prophesying, they ain't giving warning. They not only watch like they're supposed to, because you got certain niggas take time off. Then, like I said, you got certain guys, they done sold out to Esau, done took the bag, got the 401C3 charter, that free tax exempt money all right you know what i'm saying they done got so they done you know what i'm saying they, they, they're pretty much per perverting the gospel all right you know what i'm saying you know you got clowns out there not novice out there that really don't know the scriptures all right freestyling and going off in the scriptures man so all of the above of these wicked ass damn niggas hey when you ain't giving warning to you know what i'm saying from your you know what i'm saying to the congregation to israel guess what the most high is gonna hold your ass accountable man all right simple as that bro and that's everybody. That go for everybody. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his inequity. But his blood would I require at the watchman's hand. Yeah. So you have about going to require that person blood, you know, that follow you that you didn't give that warning to because you weren't singing the song correctly, showing you. Showing you, man, the seriousness, showing you the importance of having the song correctly, man. Showing you that this truth is deadly serious at the end of the day. It's life and death, man. It's nothing to play with, man. They ain't just open the Bible and, and thinking you can read out of it, thinking you can freestyle or just, you know, the spirit of your mouth shot ain't dealing with you and you going on your own accord. You know what I'm saying? The spirit ain't dealing with you and not knowing that your ass is going to be destroyed, man, if you ain't singing the song correctly, man. All right, and with that, I pray and I hope that this list was edified. And with that, I want to say shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect, shalom.